My name is Jody Cetera. I'm the program director here at the Salvation Army Chico Adult Rehabilitation and Transitional Living Program. I feel like I'm uniquely qualified. I had a 15 year um, history with my own history with addiction. I spent a lot of time in different rehabs and I was actually one of the first women to come into this program when it first opened. My name is Robert Jordan Gomes and I'm the food coordinator here at Salvation Army. I was younger. I had some bad experiences in the service and have never since then I've gravitated towards drugs. And um, when I came in here, I wasn't court ordered. I was just like, I was having bad luck. I just, I walked in. I'm Tim Edwards. I have a, a similar story to these two, except I messed up my life clean and sober. But I know what it is to be rescued. And as a result of that, just set off on, on a journey looking around and seeing what needed doing. So when we first started this connection with food, helping restaurants, and did this through the North Valley Community Foundation, we were buying, I don't know, 300 meals a week from uh, various restaurants. So we had all this food, and what do you do with it? Well, we'd go get the food, and they would deliver it. They'd just go door to door to door. When the restaurant started opening back up, that program kind of phased out. I had been at a couple of events that Kevin had catered, and in one of these divine appointments that you have from time to time, mm -hmm. he just came to mind. Mm -hmm. And so I approached Jodine, and, and so we came up with this concept of the visiting chef. Mm -hmm. My name is Kevin Garibaldi, Garibaldi's Catering and Garibaldi's Creole Cajun Restaurant. I'm the chef and owner. I've been cooking since 1980. And so he said, meet me over at the Salvation Army. We're going to have this thing called Celebrity Chef. And I said, well, shoot, I can teach these guys, no problem. And so we were just cooking up things. They were excited. And there's some people who wanted to be involved, who wanted to better themselves, and they wanted to get jobs in the community. And so we showing how to handle knives and you know the basic stuff and next thing you know it was four years time just goes by it's been a really good time and i think a lot of people have been helped from it i like to see when people are are getting through things because I, unfortunately one time i had problems you know it's been a really good time and i think a lot of people have been helped from it jordan works with me He's done several weddings. He's done the Nut Festival recently. He's amazing. He's just an awesome guy. We bounce ideas off each other. I mean, last week we came up with our own recipe. Chicken Le Jordan is what he called it. <laughs> it's a good program. I really believe in it. And I really do appreciate uh, the North Valley Community Foundation and Tim and, and all those who have been helping out with that. Because again, it helps the community. I didn't know all about Kevin's history but he came down the same road that all of us have come down. And so he can, for the people that are here, not only be an example, he can just speak truth to them. It's just a real joy to get to be a part of this. A little bitty part, but an important part. It's just been an amazing, incredible thing. I've had so many say, I can't wait to go home and show my wife I learned how to cook. And so now I can help her with the kids. And so it's like something that they've incorporated in their lives to help their family. And that brings a tear to my eye. You know, hey, now I can be a part of my family. Now when they come out, they feel proud of themselves that they've accomplished this six month program that is pretty good. And then they've also learned something and they can contribute to their family. And I appreciate that and that's a, that's a tearjerker in itself. So the successes are good. Even if you got one life that you change and make right, it's worthwhile.